Uh, one of the most exciting players, not just in the Big Ten, but in the country, Rondell Moore, the Big Ten freshman of the week for the second time in four weeks. Joining us from our studio in West Lafayette, Rondell, you've had so much success here early on in your career. How has it compared to what you expected coming in? Uh, my expectations, you know, were um, not really high and not too low. You know, just coming in, trying to learn the system and learn behind um, the older guys and just work hard and do my job. Um, and, you know, as far as uh, playing goes, Coach Brom and everyone else on the team has helped me, you know, uh, play my best early on this far. Take us back to, um, you know, preseason camp. We were there. There was a ton of buzz about you. Was there a moment kind of in camp where you realized, hey, I can... I can really make an impact and help this team? Um, when I first got here, um, I had just been, you know, under the older guys and just learning the system and how everything works. And um, I had made a few plays and, you know, I was going through a process where I was still trying to learn the offense and I was I, I was dropping a few balls early on and the coaches kept trusting me as well as um, the veterans. And, you know, I just, um, I just kept playing and things got better for me. Take people back to your recruitment. You had originally committed to Texas. What then made you reconsider? Uh, there were a lot of factors that went into that. Um, a big one for me was staying close to home. Um, so, you know, my family could attend uh, almost all my games. You know, they've been at every home game this far. And um, Coach Brom, uh, he, he was a great guy to me as well as my family, you know, and I felt really comfortable coming here. I uh, wanted to learn under Coach Shep. Um, I, I love the energy he brings and, you know, how he teaches his wide receivers and everything he does, you know, so my official and I took some unofficials here. I uh, got to look at some practices and things of that sort. And I just love what everyone was doing around here. And I wanted to be a part of it. Yeah, the connection is really interesting to Jeff Brom. Of course, he went to the same high school that you did. I know his dad is still involved in that program. You touched on it a little bit, but how important was that connection to the Brom family to make you think, hey, this might be a better fit for me? I think it was a big part of it, you know, um, just having that trust aspect, being away from home and, you know, just meeting new people and things of that sort. So I felt really comfortable coming in. I felt like I had known Coach Brown my whole life as well as Coach Shep and, you know, everyone else on the staff because I had talked to them numerous times and they had always been a part of my recruiting process, you know. So for me, when I got here, um, I didn't feel uncomfortable and I felt really um, welcome. You've had some amazing moments to this point on the field. What has been the most memorable one to you? Um, last Saturday, you know, we got our first win. So that's been the biggest um, milestone for me. How about in terms of the individual plays that you've broken off? Some of these long catches, runs, return game, which is the one that stands out the most? My first touchdown um, thrown by Elijah was uh, kind of like a, a relieving moment for me, you know, just... I uh, felt really good to get that milestone um, checked off the list, you know, so that's a big part. You guys did get that first win, the breakthrough against Boston College this past weekend. What did it mean to this team after so many close games, three losses by eight points, to come through and get a victory against a nationally ranked team? Um, I think it just shows the country and anyone who's been watching how hard we compete. You know, we don't give up no matter what's going on and what's happened. Um, I feel like we can compete with anyone. You know, we just continue to grind every day and get better. David Blau has had two straight fantastic performances. Give us some insight into what you think makes him so good. Um, his will to be a leader um, and his drive to be successful, you know, you can tell that he's been watching a lot more film. Um, he, he stays after practice and gets some extra throws in. He asks questions to, he asks me questions, he asks the coaches questions. And, and you know, even though I'm a younger guy, um, he always has asked like what I see out there um, and just things he can do to make the team better and himself. The first moment I think that a lot of people became aware of you this summer was when you squatted 600 pounds and Purdue sent it out on social media, the reaction in the weight room, I mean, you weigh 190 pounds, right? So take people through that moment of how, what's going through your mind when you attempt to squat more than three times your body weight? So um, I knew we were going heavy that day, you know, so the day before I, you know, mentally prepared myself and I knew I wanted to get more than 530. Uh, and that was what I had gotten in high school, you know, so after I got, um, 5.30 pretty easy, my adrenaline was pumping, you know, everyone was behind me. It was nothing to, you know, put 600 on my back and 
uh, get that out, you know, with my whole team behind me, you know, so it just felt like a regular day for me. Were you surprised by the social media reaction? Uh, I mean, not really, but um, I kind of got a lot of notifications and mentions and things of that sort, but I wouldn't say I was uh, surprised. Uh, who was the person that you heard from that most surprised you and all that? I think LeBron James had liked uh, one of the posts on Instagram, um, and I think J.R. Smith had commented on one, but I hadn't specifically heard from anyone that wanted to like, DM me. Okay. Well, all pretty cool stuff. Uh, first road game this week, you go to Nebraska, one of the most passionate fan bases in the country. What are you expecting? Um, it's going to be a great atmosphere, you know, a chance to compete, which we all love on this team. And, you know, a chance to go out there and um, show our talents. And, you know, we're going to put in some work this week. And, you know, you get a chance to show them. So uh, it'll be exciting. Well, Rondell, congratulations on all your success to this point. It's been a lot of fun to watch you. We look forward to seeing you in action this weekend. Thank you.